Bible tells you that the appearance of the Lamb means the arrival of Jesus, the arrival of our son in the house of Ares. Millions of people see and use the symbol of the Lamb and the cross and have no idea what it really means. And that's why they sacrifice the Lamb. And now you know why the Knights Templar use the symbol of the Red Cross. Because the blood sacrifice cross is the symbol of Saturn. Because the cross comes from the zodiac, which is owned by Saturn. And that's why the symbol for Saturn has the cross in it, along with his phallic sickle symbol. Because Saturn, L, or Cronus use the sick L. And that's why the cross is the symbol of Saturn, the black cube. Kings wear crowns, and the word crown comes from Cronus or Saturn. And that's why kings wear the golden ring and the golden crown. And that's why the Israelites use their golden rings to make the golden calf to worship the bull god and lord of the golden ring, Saturn. And that's why the golden halo of Saturn is over the angels. And now you know the truth behind the American Red Cross. Because they deal with death, and they can go behind enemy lines because they run both sides of the conflicts. Why do you think they call it the Red Cross? Because the cross is covered in blood, exactly like Satanists. And that's why the Masonic Red Cross wants your blood. And that's why they get you to donate blood for free and they turn around and sell it for hundreds of dollars. By the way, before you donate to the Red Cross, you might want to know that the last time I checked, the CEO makes over 500000 a year. And I feel sorry for people like this who donate $200,000 and it's still not enough to pay for the salary of the CEO because they still need to raise another $300,000 just for that one person. It's sad because people donate to try to help, but they don't realize where their money really goes. Why do you think they chose March to be the Red Cross month? Because they get the blood from the slaughtered lamb when God's son enters the house of Ares. March, the lamb, the ram. Because the Red Cross comes from the illustrious order of the Red Cross of Freemasonry, which just happens to be the eighth degree of the York Rite. So the Red Cross equals eight, the octagon of death. The cross in the crown is the highest degree of the York Rite of Freemasonry, the ninth degree and many religions like the Jehovah's Witnesses. Because Freemason Charles Taz Russell started the Jehovah's Witnesses. And he started it on the night of the Black Moon of Death in 1884. And maybe that's why he died on Halloween night 1916. Because the cross and the crown are symbols of Saturn. L. So now you know a little bit more about L. Bohem. Let me explain to you where knowledge and wisdom came from. In ancient times, the locals had better experience on the surrounding areas than invaders or outsiders did. So they knew where the food, water, and danger was. So they had knowledge because they knew where the end or the edge of the ledge was. And those who did not have the knowledge did not know where the edge was. And those that survived gained the knowledge. And they spread that knowledge by telling others where the edge was. And if you don't know your limit or know where the edge is, then you lost your life because you had to have knowledge to survive. But what do you think made prehistoric man leap to modern day man because our knowledge brought us wisdom and wisdom came from the sacred wise dome and we got the wide eyes dome when the ancient prehistoric man found magic as in the magic of the Amanita muscaria the magic mushroom known as the tree of knowledge or the cap of knowledge 
and that's why they show you the tree of knowledge looks exactly like the mushroom. Because we got the wisdom from the wise dome. And when you eat the wise dome, the magic begins. That's why in the Disney film, Alice is so high on magic mushrooms, she thinks the animals are talking to her. Because when you eat these magic mushrooms, and the magic starts to take effect, believe me, you'll think you can fly too. But the magic came in the ability to think out of the box. And like turning the light switch on, it gave mankind enlightenment. Because this magic was food for the brain, and it gave mankind the ability to see what was always there. It gave us a higher level of thinking, which gave us understanding. But how do you get understanding? By simply standing under, or gaining perspective of the thing you want to know about. And I hope that's basic enough for you to understand. So maybe now you understand why he was the high priest. And believe me, when you're high on mushrooms, you think you can talk to God. Because it feels like nature is calling out to you and you become one with nature. And you get an overwhelming or sensation of God. And for some reason, everyone has the common trip of seeing a stairway to heaven. And that's why it's one of the most popular songs in the world. And once the ancients drank the elixir of life, they had gained the wisdom of knowledge. And this new discovery of sacred knowledge became the Holy Grail. Because the Holy Grail is from El. So now you know why they call it Sangriel, Saturnel, the Royal King El Blood. And like some ritualistic cleansing of our blood, they baptize our children in the waters, the flowing knowledge of the magic mushroom. And I bet you can't find a kid's pool without the magic mushroom. Where do you think the entire story of Santa Claus and Christmas came from? Because deer also love foraging for mushrooms. And just like us, they get high as a kite. And before you know it, the deer are flying around high in the sky. And that's why there's an octagon of eight reindeer. When you take mushrooms, it has a psychedelic effect. So sometimes you see some things that aren't really there. Then the next thing you know, you're having hallucinations. And this is known as anthropomorphism. And I'll give you one guess where they got the idea. Because Santa Claus is Saturn. L. Satan. Why do you think he rings the bell? Because the bell is taken from the mushroom, the Liberty Cat. And that's why they ring the golden bell. Ringing the golden bell for L. Where do you think Santa's cap came from? And you can clearly see how the frills clearly inspired the Santa Claus theme complete with the beard and all. Now you know why Rudolph has a red button mushroom nose, and you can clearly see his black boots. Why do you think Santa Claus has elves? Because an elf is from L. And where do you think they got the idea of Santa Claus and his elves? Because the Amanita Muscaria has a big Santa with little elves. Because Santa's little elves, or the baby mushrooms, are still making psilocybin. And that's why they show little elves busy making presents. That one day, Big Santa will give as a gift. So now you know why Santa Claus is known as the gift giver. And now you know why we wrap our gifts in the magic cube. And you'll find the theme of Santa around the world. And that's why we dress up our trees to look like the mushroom. And you've used them as decorations and never knew it. Why do you think Santa uses the sleigh? Because the sleigh comes from the real Santa, Saturn L. And remember, Saturn or L slayed and ate his children. And that's the real meaning behind Santa's sleigh. And that's why Santa is dressed like Saturn the Hermit, Druid, 
Odin wizard or warlock, and that's why they portray Jesus the same way. Which brings us to the candy cane. It's supposed to be a symbol of the good ship. 